the other guard, number four, Skyler Dickens-Smith. Starting in center, number 42, Brittany Greiner. Indiana Fever as they go up against the Phoenix Mercury. I'm Blake Suniga, and with me at the broadcast table are Tim Swartz and Brian Banifatemi. And these are two teams that move the ball extremely well, Tim. Well, this is a matchup for the purest, Blake. I mean, if there's one thing that sets the WNBA apart from other leagues, it's just the tremendous ball movement and passing. We've got the cream of the crop here, and it is not just the passing. Expect incredible movement off the ball on both sides. Now here's Tarasi. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. That is a quick foul for her there. The refs are calling it close. Here's Henderson. Pass to fouls. Henderson. Petty defending. Here's Fowles. Back to Mitchell. Jefferson. Six on the shot clock. Mitchell with it. Shoots over Diggins Smith. Here's Jefferson. And that one is. Hey, now that's how you start a game off. A slam. Show me. Uh, Diana Tarasi. And Sue Bird. And what I admire about Our, on their last leg. The old as fuck, man. Fuck fossils on the court. But I will say, though, that they're actually effective. They're not like old people coming off the bench or something like that. Like, this is, you know, somewhat of a Sylvia Fowles is 36, but does it really matter? Are her stats really worse than someone who's... 25 in the league, you know what I'm saying? Comes out of the gate empty. This is the second time we're facing the Mercury right in a row. Pass to Henderson. Uh, the Mercury have been struggling this season. And it's funny enough, I just said something about the age. Like, I feel like if Diana Taurasi was 28, 29. And had Brady Griner and Skylar Diggins, the record would be different. She would probably be, you know, somewhat scoring more. Yeah, we've seen it a lot of times that she'll hit those shots no matter how tight the D is. We look like a fucking mess right now, by the way. Shoots over Tarasi. That is terrible. Shot is off. Sticking in the valley of the sun, the Mercury have had so much success. Yeah, in so many different eras. Oh my I mean, God. They were in their first final. Of course you mean that. Second of no good. The all-time leader in college threes made. Kelsey Mitchell went second overall to... Yeah, for the most part, like, we played the Mercury. as the future of the um, and Kelsey Mitchell I think for years a couple weeks ago, a week ago. No, it was a couple yeah, weeks ago because Kelsey, last week is just one game. Failing to make the playoffs so it was a couple weeks ago we played the Mercury, but, but Brittany Griner was injured. So and goes to show you the kind honestly, of we thought it would be a cakewalk, and now, it wasn't. <laughs> Can't hit that one. I'm sitting Bounds there thinking like, wow, if it's this close without Brittany. What the hell's gonna happen when she gets back in the game? It was a slight injury. It was really minor. So the first game, which is on YouTube, game number twenty, um, here in Phoenix against Brittany, for maybe the second time. Well, first, Karen, I think the second. There's only ten teams in this game too. So. Um, 
you know, throughout her career, I don't think Griner's got the Yeah, I didn't know what to expect that first effort. game. The second chance points but she generates are just the way so we started crazy. out, the way we got out. You just assume she's going to knock those you know, down. Everything she's just she was there. shook out from the first half. Good chance here for Diana Tarasi. Um, the baseline J off the mark. Didn't really have that fear. Just kind of got alleviated. You know what I mean? Hey, I'm mean, to make more shots while I'm on the court. That's what I'm about. Um. So now going into this game right here, there's not really no fear. It's not really no nervousness. We already won. Um, we were up by double digits. So. You know, we know the formula now. It's a little nervous without Brittany. You know, but with Brittany, not nervous. Just, you know, getting, getting what we need to do out the way to win, basically. Jefferson outside. Damn, I thought I hit that. That shit was open. Uh, there's been like a little slight change from this game. From the last one that was previously just played. Come on, man. I gotta get these rebounds. Uh, Dan at Tarasi was guarding me last game. And Henderson pulls it down. The Beaver with the lead. Of course, she had help, especially post help, Henderson. Uh, drive help, uh, pre rotation. There's all types of shit she had help with. And of course, you can't stop me, so that shit really don't work. But now we got Dupree. She's guarding me, and I think it works a lot better, honestly. So it's Indiana now. Three point lead. I think Dupree should have been guarding me from jump. To the paint. Here's Jefferson. Hey. Hey man, she was pushing me to the direction, so that's the direction I went. Let's all go to New York. Oh, yes, indeed. I'm all in. Now here's Jefferson. Five to shoot. Look at the defense. Oh my gosh. Still made it. Mercury with the rebound. Petty with it. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Mm, mm, mm. It's magic. And she was camped there in the lane. Three seconds. I'm about to sell me out. Oh, yeah, they got Maya Caldwell coming in. All right, only up by two. Only up by two. Coming in in the second quarter at the top. Not really much rest, but now here's Griner. Is what it is. Here's Tarasi. Got to get those rebounds, fam. I find myself on Dupree a little bit more now that she's guarding me. Also, I think those are the last year's Rebels. Y'all gotta get some new Rebels, man. I gotta think of something cool. I know the Phoenix Sun have. Their jerseys have been pretty fucking cool for the last, like, three, four years, to be honest. Especially when they went black and they were, yeah, man. I don't know. I, I like the Phoenix Suns, how they do their jerseys. I think the Mercury should take a little note on how that's done. Damn. Yeah, T.O., fam. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, that's in. Ah! Phoenix in the lead. Outside, Diggin Smith. Pass to Jefferson. Straight defense, you hit me. Taking advantage. Now here's Henderson. She's covered by Jefferson. Here's Mitchell, and it's blocked by Skylar Diggin Smith. Are right, you doing too much? Blocking shots is all about staying There it is. Ah, like let's go. Diggin Smith put her instinct. Smith put her. All you needed was a little pump fake. 
please, please don't take your eyes off her because she can make plays from multiple spots on the floor. Now, here's Griner. Come on, man. This is too crazy. Good. Well, with her height, Griner, a clear view of the court. Gotta get more efficient than that. Spot open teammates. Jefferson left side. Mitchell nah. outside. Pass to Cannon. Shoots the three. Barry. Hey, there we go. It's a tie ball game. Three points. Well, Kelsey Mitchell sometimes has that shoot first mindset, but she's also always willing to make the next pass. Jefferson outside. Oh, and they're going to count the ball. Come on, bro. Going back a few years for the Fever during that 2009 to 2015 the, run, they the were one of the quarter, elite deep in the, in the trenches league. of this game, Absolutely. still down by three. three Not trying to lose, man. Our record's pretty all even. I think we're one win sure above 500. For those glory days again. Now here's Jefferson. He has five. That quarter. Pass to Diggin Smith from the arc. Mm. That shot, no good. And so the fever will take it the other way. Yeah, man, I'm just not trying to lose this game. I kind of want to keep it going. One last game. Let's win this one. Picked up by Why not? In the same place, same team. Jefferson. Um, I don't think it's the same lineup. Could be, I don't know. Ah, let's go. Such solid. Made it possible. They really ready. One-handed well. bandit. Outside Dupree. Back to Tarasi. Shoots over Jefferson. And too long on the shot. It's been that kind of a game for her. But look, the team is still winning. So keep your head up and just try to move on and be better. All right. Come on, man. Make sense of things now. Let's go. Oh, shit. They sub me. the first half of the close. It's the Mercury. They lead by nine. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. about her first half offense was she didn't waste her opportunity she made just about every good look she had and they were pretty much all good looks i mean her shot selection has been phenomenal throughout the game there from Brittany griner petty with it back to diggin smith tarasi with it She's covered by Jefferson. Rossi outside. And she can't extend the lead to double digits. Elbow shot on the way. And that's Gabby. good. Fit. Oh, man. Let's get the comeback started, man. I'm not trying to lose. Uh, last time we played the Phoenix Mercury, I believe. Brittany Griner was the She's covered by Jefferson. Um, player Back to look to at. Nah. Dupree. I don't think I'm guarding Dupree. Dupree. Might as well quit. It makes Griner almost impossible to stop. You just can't. The same time she's guarding me, so sometimes I end up on her. No and uh, she's doing pretty well for herself. Like Griner. Quite simply, there you go, Kelsey. WNBA history. You can never tell if Kelsey has a size advantage or not. Usually she doesn't. But. 
Yo, way too petty right there, man. She can do it all. She's definitely gave us problems before. Back in the game. Hey, man, I want a triple-double, bro. I've been one assist away from a triple-double, like... I want to say a good three times within the last three weeks of, of the schedule like yeah I've been super duper close but I've never actually I couldn't get any closer uh, I couldn't actually like get that last assist I mean look at that in two games I'm averaging 27 14 and basically eight assists in two games that's Crazy. This is the third game right here. Um, they're up. It's close. So, I have the potential to just go crazy again. Like, I'm going to keep going crazy against the Mercury. I don't know why. It's just, it's what it is. That's what I'm going to keep doing. Um, but we got to win this one. Though. We got to figure out a way. Like Trey songs, just gotta make it all right. No, I had a joke about that yesterday. That's why it's in my head. <laughs> I think I was thinking about uh, Cry Face Trey songs. Like when he had like, the braids. Nigga used to sing with his like uh, neck veins popping out and shit. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. He used to sing looking up like he was praying and shit. In fact. She's one of the most efficient ever. Now here's Petty. We're down by four. It's half the quarter. We're in the second. Wow. I didn't think she shoot that. Uh, we're in the second half. I know she isn't having the best of games from the floor, but Green Griner has ten rebounds already. Here's Mitchell. Somebody's in the corner open. Let's go on a 14-6 run. How about that? Four minutes. That's basically the whole quarter. I'm talking about a four-minute stretch that started nine minutes in the quarter. That's the whole quarter. Outside, Diggin Smith. Oh, the back doors. Oh, they caught me lacking. Thank God Tarasi is old and washed up. Because they caught me lacking. Two points. Let's go. Damn. Tarasi looked like Russell Westbrook out there. Don't let her do the back door. Don't let her come through the back door. Come on, yo. I'm not going to shoot that in my face for real. Are you? Tarasi. Ooh. She's selling the game, bro. And you know what? She also can't stop the rain. Ah. And YouTube had like an anniversary recently. And they had all the YouTube videos that made YouTube YouTube. And, um, I don't know, I just happened to click on the Chocolate Rain video. <laughs> Yo, have you heard the lyrics to Chocolate Rain? Like, have you, like, sat down and, like, really either listened or actually looked at the lyrics to Chocolate Rain? Nigga. Like, at first, when I, <laughs> when that shit came out, bro, you just, like, sing it. And it was just, like... Diana Taurasi on the wing. I don't know. She's covered by Jefferson. Like a meme, basically. Like that's why it was so famous. It was just like you just sing it, and that was it. But as an adult now, like and you hear it, and you listen to the lyrics. Like I was crying on the inside listening to that shit. Like, God damn, this shit is deep, nigga. But you couldn't like get too deep with it because it's so hard to like take it serious because how the dude looks, like the filter of the video, like how the video looks and shit, how he's singing is so like weird. 
like he's not moving but he's like grabbing talent from his stomach it's weird it's weird and then monotone like the beat is so like like it doesn't change at all it's just like a like a sample beat from a piano like you know how you got them example drinks when you, when you um, when them, like keys like the pianos and shit and they have like electric pianos so like you can press like certain buttons because it's like a digital dash basically and you like press like the However, the hip hop test. <laughs> it does like some stupid sample. <laughs> like that's what Chocolate Rain sounded like. Some like sample music, and this nigga did like five minutes of the most deepest shit ever, and didn't take not one like break with it. Like I don't even know how many verses that nigga had in that joint, cause. He would just say Chocolate Rain and say the deepest shit he has ever thought of in his life. I really want to know who wrote that shit. Because if he was young enough to really just write that shit, you know how deep your mind got to be to think of those lyrics, bro? Which makes me think he's got to be foreign. Because, you know, foreign people be going through way worse shit. We all have first world problems in America. You feel me? Like, while I was yapping, we were up. That whole third quarter was a momentum test. And we passed. Got it off in time. Ah, uh, no good on the last second attempt there. The third quarter comes to a close. The Fever on top. They're up by four. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. Well, this is what being on the, the same page looks like. Fantastic feed and a heads up play all around. And how can you not be a fan of a sequence like that? This is what beautiful basketball is all about. Yeah, unselfishness, just, just wonderful stuff. All right, we welcome you back to what's Up been by four. Sub me out, sub me back again. All right. Still up by four. And the free throw, no good. Going oh, down the court, fast the break time. Emma Cannon throw me the ball. You know what time it is. Trey, set your feet, hit the three. For three, bitch. Uh, up by seven. Just hit that Trey ball. And we transition. One even a fast break. I mean, it was a fast break, but it's turning into transition. Got to get the rebound. Oh, yeah, that's a perfect. Oh. I just wanna. I just wanna. Oh. Diggin Smith really dedicated himself. Yeah, and here too, Diggin Smith scored 20 points per game. Oh man. All right. That's okay. Numbers were much improved. That's okay. I'm gonna get a nice, nice breakaway. A nice one. Already getting the average 27 right there. I'm gonna get a nice ass breakaway when I have a lot of energy talking like maybe first quarter Maybe just got subbed in second quarter. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna get a nice breakaway And I'm gonna throw that bitch off the backboard man And I'm gonna dunk it I'm telling you I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be the first ever To throw a oop to herself in the WNBA game and not no layup. Like a real Duncan, Tracy McGrady, Vince Carter off the backboard to myself. Kobe Bryant, LeBron James type. Ali. I'm doing it. I didn't do it last year. I did catch. I haven't even caught a oop this year. I'm kind of sad about that. Um, I was catching oops. You hear me? I was catching mad oops last, not mad, because it is kind of hard, especially in the WWE, but um, 
I was catching oops last game. Not even gonna hold. Not not game. Uh, last year. Last season. One year, year ago. But last season. I was catching real oops. You hear me? And on top of that, right? The Mercury Trail. Pass to Diggin Smith. Now here's Petty. On top of me catching oops. I was catching tip dunks too. That's what I really want to start like, doing though. You know what I mean? I hope I'm able to do it. I hope 2K like lets me be able to do it. She's hoping to be a little bit more active and draw some fouls here in the second half. Yeah, bro. I want to. I want to. I want to get some tip dunks, man. For sure. Two hand, one hand, whatever it is. I mean, I'm already starting to dunk through people. I can't believe I actually dunked on somebody on Twitch against the Dallas Wings. I think. Like, I came off a pick, and she tried to set a charge in the paint. So I just ran, not ran, I jumped straight through her, like, knees in her boobs. And dunked that joint. I ain't never did that shit. <laughs> that shit is so crazy. Like, I'm still flabbergasted that I really just, like... Bro, I really just... I kind of ended her career a little bit. Like, if that was in real life and social media existed, that would have been the end of her career. That would have been like if Vince Carter dunked over somebody in the Olympics and now we don't know that nigga's name. But he got drafted in the NBA, right? He didn't play one, not one game after that in the NBA because Vince Carter. And that's how I feel. I feel like whoever I dunked on should just retire. <laughs> Terrible shot. Come on, man. Oh, my God. Them fouls are looking crazy. Great shit. And no good on the second free throw. She goes 0 of 2. Really makes the most of her minutes. Destiny Henderson makes sure. No, ma'am. Damn, got pushed out the way. You see that shit? Oh, yeah, let me get that. Bang, bang. Oh, of course. Okay. Oh, yeah, let's get that. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Y'all don't even know. Bang. Assist. That's what I'm going to do. The reason I'm averaging 7.5 against the Mercury, man. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. She really just dribbled around me. I'm sick. Eight rebounds. Can I get two by the end of the game? Hmm. Y'all gotta move around. What the fuck? That's terrible, dog. What y'all doing? With possession. To the middle, Dupree. That's oh my goodness, Henderson with it. Just what are you doing clock. with that pick? Yeah, that what the hell was long. that? Well, she didn't have a hand in her face, so I thought what the hell was even that? Fast to Here we go. Oh my god. Wow, she would make that. They would come back like this. This is nice. What the fuck? Can we please close this game out? All I wanted was the dub, fam. On the wing, Kelsey Mitchell. Back to Jefferson. Don't give me the bullshit now. Oh, yeah, there we go. See, that's the bullshit that... <laughs> give it to K a taste of his own medicine.
Because that be the bullshit that Brianna Stewart and them Ella, Del Don and shit be doing against me in crunch time. I'd be like, bro, are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. Motherfucker. 15 foul. He gets the first. And that increases their lead to six. At the line for two. And so she drops them both. And it's a seven point ball game. Good work at the line to stretch that lead out a little bit. Two second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And it's Diggins Smith missing. Mitchell outside. Pass to Jefferson. That's in there. Gabby Kelsey Mitchell Jefferson. with the assist. And they're not finished yet. They're going to make sure about this win. Yeah, they're not taking any chances. This is how you close a game out. Just look how happy their coach That's is. That's the end of the game. And so the Fever take the win. We and in the end, a comfortable win. It was a pretty event. hostile Please environment. Yeah, you know, it's never going to be easy uh, on the road. But they didn't have too many problems tonight. And that's a wrap, everyone. Pre fought hard, Cunningham, Griner fought hard, Diggins fought hard, Tarasi just sold him. They sold, or she sold him. Uh, 39, I mean 33, 9 and 4. Everyone else did okay, fouls, you know. Uh, go check me out on Twitch, the Wings game last day. And uh, go check me out or subscribe to YouTube, Nola Gaming. Alright, that's all.